Uh, we go to the definition. Okay, just now we discussed. So free fall, you can see from the textbooks. Okay, so I will give you a simple definition. So what is free fall? First thing, free fall is vertical motion. Vertical motion doesn't mean you have to go down only. You still can go up. Okay, as long as it's vertical. So vertical motion of an object under the influence of gravitational force okay make it capital letter only only means we ignore air resistance or any outside influence so when you have something falls down or goes up vertically under gravitational force only that means an elephant or a chicken falls at the same time okay they equal because no air resistance so i give you the proof just now we're going to learn that later in chapter 3 okay the most misunderstanding is why ini gemuk ni kecil kan so kita dah explain air resistance okay we are going to calculate time taken to reach the ground or what is a uh, maximum height maximum height then uh, what is the initial velocity or final velocity everything we learn in 2.1 linear motion so we're going to apply the same equation what is the equation we have four equation just make it three v equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus half at square okay just give me one more I don't want a 4, I want 3 Okay, V square equal to U square plus 2KS Okay, we're going to use the same linear equation This one linear, okay, move to the right or to the left Horizontally Okay, now in free fall, we're going to use this equation Exactly the same equation But, the A is acceleration now the a becomes gravitational acceleration so a you substitute becomes gravitational acceleration g 9.81 meter per second square at any place okay usually this is not the exact value okay the planet earth Okay, we have depends on the equator somewhere here around 9.83. Then when you are somewhere here, okay, so the radius is less, so it might be 9.7 plus. Okay, depends on the rotation of the Earth. Okay, that one later. Okay, to use this to substitute in the equation. Okay, again we learn vector g gravitational acceleration do have direction ok like A over here we have accelerate or decelerate accelerate to the right or to the left slowing down ok the same goes to G but G always always direction up and down G vertically upward or downwards G always downwards Mana boleh gravity ke atas? Dia balik satu bola lagi lama lagi tinggi Muka depan mungkin kena bintang kena bulan Sebab G boleh positif So G always downwards means You substitute the A With negative G A with negative G Means All the equation now becomes V equal to U Plus AT supposed to be u plus negative g t ok a equal to negative g g is not negative 9.81 g is 9.81 but direction of the g gravity always downwards so that's why a equal to negative g so your equation s equal to u t plus half negative g t square v square u square plus 2 sorry plus 2 yes ok so 
settle If you want to Write directly Negative GT Pun tak ada masalah No problem Just don't do Twice substitution means Negative G Then you masuk lagi negative So jadi positif Salah lah Okay again Why negative Because gravitational acceleration Always pointing downwards Okay Then The V The S The U Okay We learnt in Vector So we follow the Cartesian Very simple So we take Upward Positive Downward Okay, if you throw something, you have velocity, initial velocity. So upward positive or V upward positive. So S, if you go down, you throw down. So you have negative or the velocity downwards, you have negative. Okay, time tak ada negative lah. Time always positive. Time is not vector. Okay, for example now. Okay, you are here on the roof. Let's say this is 20 meter. Okay, you drop, you drop an object, you drop a ball. So the ball goes down. So my question, what is the time taken to reach the ground? Okay, so let's say, what is this? Okay, this is the height, means the S. So you want to use this equation. So S equal to U T plus half negative G T square. So what is your S now? Twenty or negative twenty? Because it goes down, right? So it goes down. So S is negative twenty. Your U, okay. If the word the object is drop or release, means U equal to zero because you drop. If you throw, then you have initial velocity. Nah, you throw, lepas je. So u equal to zero. So u equal to zero. So this one dah dapat zero plus half. That's a thirty nine point eight one. Then t square. Then dapat lagi. Like this, you will get two value of t. T positive and t negative. Take the positive lah. Mana ada t negative kan? Okay. Sama juga. Now, if you are here. Okay, you throw a ball with initial velocity, let's say 10 meter per second. This is 20 meter. So my question, what is time taken to reach maximum height? Okay, Pamela. Let's say I ask you here. Okay, the distance here, maximum height. From here, later you plus 20. So we know when you reach maximum height, kalau you paling satu benda, dia paling tinggi sekali, what happen? Sebelum dia patah balik, what happen? Okay, so dia stop sekejap, V equal to 0. Okay, so your equation, you want to use V square equal to U square plus 2AS, now becomes V square, U square plus 2 negative GS. So nak cari yang ini. Hello. Hey. Okay, you want to be this one. So your u is 10 substitutes here. So maximum height v equal to zero. So this one substitutes negative nine point eight one. So you get s. Okay, very simple. Any problem? No problem. Okay, now susah sikit. If I want to determine time taken over here. You throw a ball, it goes few meters, then it goes back until it reach the ground. So, my question, time taken. Berapa saat sampai sini? Okay, you want to use, you have all the information, let's say. Rasa macam tak cukup information, sebenarnya cukup. You want to determine the T. Okay, what is your S right now? You are at the roof, 20 meters above. This is the ground. Baling, sampai bawah. What is your S? Berapa uh, S? 40 Okay, you are here 20 meters above You balik sampai atas ni, you don't know What is the height? But we know, you goes up positive 
then you go down over here, negative. So from here and reach back here, S equal to zero. Zero. Then you go down further, further, another twenty meters. Positive or negative? Negative. Negative. So this one negative twenty. So U is ten. Masuk. So you have half nine point eight one. Square. Okay, then you can determine the T. Very simple. Okay, last question. If you understand this, means you really understand. Ah, no, not understand. Not understand. Ah, you are in the ground. Okay. You pulling something with initial velocity, let's say five meter per second. So it goes down. Okay, now same question. Time taken to reach. This is the only information given. The only information given. You can take into this. So which equation you want to use? Make sure your equation you have t lah. B equal to u plus a t. S equal to u t plus half a t square. Okay, let's say you want to use this equation. This is the only information given. So what is your s? Zero. Why zero? Why zero? Because you go up. How high it is? No problem. It's positive s. Then it goes down. Negative s. So s zero. That's something tricky. Dapat nanti. Tak susah pun. Okay. Very simple. So the keyword is when you drop. U equal to zero. When you reach maximum height, V equal to zero. When you go here, you have to stop. Skid up. Macam you float. Skid up. Never go down. If you still have the velocity, means you still go further. So it's not zero. Okay. Any question? Boleh kau? Okay. Setengah cikgu buku lama dia aja. G can become positive, G can become negative. But you have to change the direction. You go up might be negative, you go down might be positive. So tak payah pening pening. We are not going to change anything. Just follow the Cartesian. Upwards positive, downwards negative. Linear to the left negative to the right positive. Okay. So G cannot be changed. G always downwards. Kalau ada orang kata G tu boleh positif. Tanya dia boleh tak paling nak pergi lama pergi kena hitam dan bulan Sebab G pun sini You can change direction of the motion Nak balik ke atas, balik ke bawah Tapi you cannot change the G Okay Terus soalan 